So Glenn Ford is a waterborne project which basically teaches our students you know, problem solving skills, critical thinking. They're going to actually come to the classroom and they're going to actually build boats inside the classroom. Um, they will design them, they will paint them, they will do everything that they need to do. And then they will come back in the spring, take the boats, put them on the trailer, take them out to the water. And all of our students who basically put it together and, and assisted in the production, they didn't get to get in the boats. Hopefully with light jackets, they put them on the water and they learn how to, they actually want to roll, utilize roller boats and actually enjoy the, um, the project. So I'm Mr. Wyman, I teach English 6th grade at Toby Farms Intermediate School. Uh, I had an opportunity here to uh, help out after school program to uh, help the kids um, basically assemble uh, these boats that we just put out on the uh, Schuylkill River. And it was really amazing to watch them uh, work with the tools, learn how to use tools, and uh, learn the process of putting something together from start to finish. This was the best culminating activity I've been involved in in 26 years here at the district, so I'm very uh, blessed to be here. My name is Brandon Powell. I'm in seventh grade. And tell us what the boat building project was like. It was good. We did a lot of sanding, a lot of um, building, cutting, and all of that. We did a lot of um, evening, sanding. evening it. No, I mean evening it. Um, oh, evening it out. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. And let me see. You rode in the boat today? Yes. Was all the hard work worth We're it? All, I'll, I'm rowing this way. But yes, it was worth it. Yes. It was yes, worth it. Would definitely. you do it again? Yes, I would, yes. Good. Yes, Glad yes. to hear that. Thank uh, you so I much. No <laughs> Hello, my name is Eli Twyman. and I'm in sixth grade. And you know, I joined late, but when I first started, they started painting, putting a boat, putting a support on a boat and everything. Then I started painting the seats, and one of the seats I painted, I put my name, two of my friends' name, and then one of my teachers' name on there. And then, well, by the time that was done, they paint, nailed all the seats in, and I think it was worth it. I'm Dirk Parker. I'm a part of the Waterborne program, currently out of Glen Ford, uh, here at, uh, with Toby Farms School. Uh, built a couple of boats and did an awesome job. Uh, the staff and everybody connected with the actual uh, school and the district were amazingly helpful with everything that I needed and the opportunity and the space and the time and um, hopefully they can get the room back together um, you know the, the, the way that it was I'm, I'm, you know my apologies to the, uh, the the maintenance staff for you know if it's a little messy in there but no they did an awesome job I hope that they want to continue the program um, but it was really well worthwhile, and they did an awesome job. Great students. You should be commended. My name is Kasia Jones. I have a lot of fun making the boat, and it was wonderful rowing and getting teach how to row as well. So, so, so you got to row the boat while you were out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. And what grade are you in? Six. 
sixth grade, and it was worth it, you said? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Angelina, and when they kind of had the wood, and we had to nail it together, glue it together, and when that was all done, they took it outside and painted it, and once they painted it, we all got to paint something on the boat with colors and everything. And once we were done, we painted the seats. And once everyone left, they, they nailed the seats into the boat. So tell us, was it worth it? All the work riding on the boat? It was worth it. <laughs> I'm in sixth grade. Thank you so much. We are so excited about this opportunity for our students in the Chester Upland School District, specifically at Toby Farm School, for doing something outside of the box and being exposed to something new, building boats. You guys did a magnificent job. We are so proud of you, and we look forward to more of these great opportunities to come. Thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you. Thank you, Receiver Nichols, and I will simply echo the words that you just shared. I want to thank all of the adults who helped to put this event together and actually helped the, uh, the construction of the boats, which uh, obviously looks like a very challenging job. And to the students, um, as Receiver Nichols has said, you all are incredible, it's simply amazing. Um, you've been exposed to something I can tell you personally. I've never had the opportunity to do to actually build a boat and actually sail in the boat. So congratulations on achieving something that some of us older individuals have not had the experience of doing. And thanks to you, I've actually been in a boat where I've witnessed children build. So um, great job, and again, congratulations on this amazing day. And again, thank you to all the staff who supported this endeavor. And Mr. Popley. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to make sure, and I just want to acknowledge the opportunity that we received from our building administration, our, our cabinet members, and our district administration as well. I'm thankful that they believed in us and took the opportunity and the chance to help us allow our students to um, experience this firsthand. I know our students did an excellent job. I know they were wonderful. They put a lot of hard work, sweat and tears. There were so many staff members and so many people that uh, we want to say thank you for this, but this was an excellent opportunity. I'm thankful to being here and I hope to see you again next year to do the same thing.